Mickey, bonus point machine for the Buckeyes. I don't know if I ever saw that one coming. Did you pin your first two guys? Uh, no, I didn't. What was the other one? Major? Oh, I got a major. Major. So bonus point wins is huge for you. You're the bonus point machine. You know, Bo pulls one out, win, wins a tough one, right? But, uh, you know, you look at it, man, you're gaining momentum. You're snowballing. You're, 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 you're wrestling downhill right now, man. What, where's this coming from and how important is it to the Buckeyes? Um, you know, it's really important. Um, every, point, every point we score matters uh, for the team race. And, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome to be here in Cleveland. Um, a lot of Buckeye fans here. Buckeye Nation came. And um, it's just exciting to show all the wrestling that I've been working on. And, um, Jagger showed me that cradle. Uh, I don't really have it perfected like he does, but um, he's been working with, with me on it. And, uh, I want to thank him for that and then the coaches and everything and the teammates. So. What's your history with him? Long history or not? With Shidel? Yeah. Uh, no, he's in Division One. Uh, he's from St. Ed's. Uh, I think he was up a few weights when we did the duels with St. Ed's, but I never got to wrestle him, but I saw him compete. It was, it was really tough. I mean, yeah, it was a 7-10 matchup. I mean, yeah. you wrestled as well as it looked like you wrestled? I mean, how happy were you with how you did? Uh, yeah, I was excited uh, when I got the pin. Just because uh, I knew the match was over and, um, you know, get try to get uh, team points uh, for Ohio State. But um, I just went out there and just tried to get to my attacks. Um, I got a whip over early, and that kind of separated the match from there. Coach Lyon said that you thought you guys as a whole were a little tight. First round match is just maybe wrestling here, all the pressure, all that stuff. Do you agree with that? Or do you think that you're loosened up as a team in this round? Uh, just sometimes the first match, uh, you know, getting that first match out of the way, I hear that a lot. But yeah, I had some nerves first match, and uh, sometimes you tighten up a little bit. But you know, before the master bell said, uh, you know, stay loose, loosen your ties, don't squeeze, and. You know, when you start squeezing, that's when you get tired. So I just tried to stay loose and have fun. Hey, Mickey, the Travel, so, so many people mentioned Travel from the mental aspect, um, what he brings to the staff. Is that is that a real deal? What 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 does Travel? It's almost like there's a philosophical certain approach that he takes that that relaxes the wrestlers for Ohio State after he gets done doing his thing with them. Is that is that a real thing? That like, what does Travel bring that is so yeah, unique? Yeah, for sure. Um, just his. Uh, you know, he has like a philosophy on the mindset, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's just crazy, you know, when you go out there before the match and you're really nervous and you're thinking about all these expectations, uh, a lot of times you'll tighten up. So, uh, you know, as a team, we, we talk together and, uh, you know, Coach Delagnev really preaches, um, you know, just use your energy, uh, just go out there, use all your energy for effort-wise and not think about all these things because he actually wears you out. Um, just going out there, wrestling to your best ability. And, uh, you know, if you lose, then it'll be all right. But if you go out there and try to hold on and, uh, you know, try to protect yourself, then, uh, you know, you'll have regrets afterward. So. The, uh, the uh, uh, last one for me there, um, the typical answer to this question is, I don't look ahead, I don't look ahead, one match at a time, one match at a time. I wrestled myself most of there, there is a temptation to look ahead, I think, for all wrestlers. You get the brackets, you start. How yeah. do you deal with that? How do you deal with truly laser focusing on the very next match and not falling to that temptation, which is easy to fall to and see, well, after I beat him, I got, how, what, yeah. how do you do that? Um, just try to stay focused on the next match. Uh, always try, try to stay focused and uh, try not to look ahead too much. Uh, my weight class is pretty crazy right now. I had the number two seed go down, and that's kind of uh, in my past. So, you know, you could be thinking about the next match, but I just want to go out there, uh, wrestle tonight, wrestle good, and uh, just whoever I'm facing next, just go after them. Thanks, Mickey. Yeah, thank you. Did Jeff Jordan rip? His vest off. Did his rudest vest come off after that pin? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's wearing it right now. I think it's only when he coaches. <laughs> so so it's only when he coaches? I think so, yeah. So if I, I, I saw him now, it just might be turtleneck. Yeah, it might be turtleneck. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Are you as snazzy of a dresser as your dad? Uh, no. You he know, steals he's... your jeans. You guys know that? <laughs> he does. He wears, like, designer jeans. Either oh, yeah. yours or oh, yeah. Bo's. He steals your yeah. jeans. Yeah. But, yeah, he has some things. Uh, you know, he has always has the vest with the turtleneck during the state tournament. And uh, when he coaches, but I'm not sure. Uh, I saw him just recently. I don't think he had it on. So, how much has your dad meant to you? How much has your dad meant to your development? How much has your dad meant to you as a, a human being, the person you are? You're the nicest dude I, you ever get to talk to. You're humble. You're you're hardworking. How much of that's Jeff Jordan? How much is it your mom? You, know, you got a great uncle, a great family. How much of that yeah. is the Jordans? I mean, it's just a combination of everyone. Um, you know, my dad was uh, really tough on me, got me in the sport of wrestling, and uh, you know. 
just from him experiencing it as a wrestler. He saw all the uh, qualities you get out of it, so he wanted us to wrestle too. And um, you know, wrestling teaches you a lot of things outside uh, in your life. Um, and you know, I got uh, my mom is really nice, so I probably got it from my mom, Amy. But yeah, what an angel! But, yeah, yeah, she's awesome. All right, man. You don't know who you have tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. It's either uh, Monday or Van Brill. Right. Rutgers, so. well, good luck tomorrow, all right? Thanks. Thanks, man.